Welcome back to Parrot TV. We're going to talk about Scarlet Macaws today, but this isn't the Scarlet Macaw. This is a Great Green. And I'm including a little shot of Great Greens because I want to contrast their nests to those of the Scarlet Macaws. Now, this female is responding to a partner's call and gone to get fed. And this is the nest of a Great Green Macaw. They're in these gigantic trees, mountain almonds. And there's one of our team climbing up to the nest to check it. The Scarlet, by contrast, use these rubbish little palms. I mean, that's 10 foot tall. And that's despite us putting nest boxes up uh, to try and get them into nest boxes. One pair have used the nest box, but most pairs like these rubbish palms that are fit to fall over. So here we've got the Scarlet Macaw. Looking out of her nest box, nest site, and there's her partner in there as well. And we need to know what's going on in there so that we can see if there's a way for us to help them be more productive. How many eggs, how many chicks. So we use a giant piece of bamboo with a GoPro stacked to the end and we take a peek inside these palms. Now, it takes a little bit of navigating, so we'll just speed this a little bit up. And then we find out there's something in there. Oh, it's a macaw. So our college graduates uh, sometimes do struggle to count to two. Uh, we'll have to try again. So here we go. We've got to haul that great big pole up into the air. We're at another palm. And uh, yeah, we've got to try and uh, get this GoPro into the palm. Oh, yeah. Um, it does take a little bit, oh, oh, a bit of effort to get it oh, uh, to where we need. Um, fortunately, I think the, uh, the team are a little bit better at driving than uh, doing the pole work. Let's, uh, uh, let's just, oh, there's the hole. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, right, we're just going to fast forward this a little bit. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's hard enough to touch your finger to the end of your nose sometimes, isn't it? So, big old pole. Here we're going to go in again. And yes, there we go. Three three eggs. Oh, was that three eggs? Uh, yeah. So, let's just see. We're going to have to uh, get another look. We need to know exactly what's going on. So we don't want to just go, oh yeah, there's eggs. We want to know how many eggs then, how many of those eggs are going to turn into chicks. And if some of the eggs disappear because a fat toucan stolen them or something like that. So we've got to just be a little bit patient. The person on the ground is actually using a mobile phone and they can see what the GoPro sees because the GoPro has a Wi-Fi thing on it. So that's really handy for us. And we're gonna, yes, it is indeed three eggs and you can see the team quite happy about that too. And uh, here we go. Yeah, there is no emotional investment for the team at all. It's just super. That's exciting for us to see that. So we're back again, having another go. This is actually a few weeks later. Let's see what's happening in the You see the team members looking at the camera there. That was Lauren. And yes, oh, yes, we've got chicks. We've got two tiny pink bundles of joy. Isn't that good? Now we're back again. This is another couple of weeks. It's Ted. Ted can drive very well and he's straight in the nest. No bumps or anything. Look at that. We uh, will not uh, make any gender based comments here. Okay, now uh, this chick is looking rather uh, panty. I don't know what the word is for that actually. Uh, yeah, so it's 104 degrees in the dry season in this area. And there's no surprise that they are uh, breathing heavy to keep cool. The parents don't need to uh, brood the chicks at this age. Uh, by this point, they're big enough, uh, beautiful little chicks. Yes, they are beautiful. And uh, they can just do their own thing. Now, you can see the one, the, the younger chick on the left there is sitting really comfortably. It doesn't look very nice to us, but actually they, they, uh, their necks are very flexible and they sit like that quite a bit. Uh, now it's the wet season, as you can see, the rain has already started and we're back in the nest and there we go, we've got two beauties, look at them, that's just fantastic, that's what everything is working towards. Soon those chicks will be fledged and out like this chick from last year and I can't wait to share that with you. I hope uh, this has helped keep you going. Uh, the excitement of the parrot season is, is just amazing. If it doesn't quite do the trick, think of cheese. That's what I do. And I've found as I've been putting these videos together, I have quite a collection of cheese photographs. Uh, so I'll try and share those for inspiration too, perhaps. 
Well, anyway, thanks for watching another Parrot TV episode. Look forward to seeing what I can come up with next week.